Welcome to the 2022 Paris Supercross pre-race show, where we talk about key racers and what to look for this race. First off, I came across a picture of one of the metal ramps at the Paris Supercross event. Just wanted to share it with you guys. Here it is on the screen now. Take a look at it. To me, I want to know what you guys think about this ramp, but to me, it looks a little janky. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure it works because this is how they do it and all of the other Supercross events I watched across the pond have been that way so there it looks like there's uh, wooden crates on the bottom on top of these wooden crates look like to be metal shipping containers so that's going to be the base of the ramp there and then you can see the two sides where you jump and then land. And don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing on these metal ramps. I like the idea of metal ramps. You use less dirt. They're more versatile as you can easily adjust them. And uh, all of those good things are safer because the ruts aren't able to get as deep as on a, more, a traditional dirt ramp. But I just thought it was funny. And uh, I shared it on social media today and got a lot of responses. So I thought I'd show you guys here. And I want to know exactly what you think of this ramp. But let's go ahead and talk about some key riders and what to look forward in this 2022 Paris Supercross event. Usually these off-season races are more typically exhibition style with not many top riders and not that much competition. But this year's Paris Supercross seems to have brought in some of the top name riders. We have Eli Tomac, Cooper Webb, Ken Roxon. And we also have Marvin Muscane, as well as some others that you may recognize from AMA. Eli Tomac, coming off of a great 2022 season, has basically won everything that he has touched this year as far as points championships. This man has won the 2022 Motocross Outdoors Championship, as well as the 2022 Monster Supercross Indoor Races. He also won the Motocross of Nations, and he also won a World Supercross race as well. Will he win the Paris Supercross event to top things off in 2022? Coming off of a tough 2022 season, after being let go from his Honda HRC racing team, this may be one of his last chances to make a lasting impression on possible sponsors and possible race teams to get with in 2023. Marvin Muscane racing for KTM coming off of a hot win at Red Bull Straight Rhythm on a two-stroke will be uh, racing Supercross Paris this year as a three-time defending champion. So he has won this three times and will be defending his championship against a much tougher crowd than normal in the Paris Supercross event. Cooper Webb, coming off of a hard 2022 season, will be racing for redemption this year as he has struggled in the 2022 season indoors and outdoors. Don't forget Cooper Webb has been legendary in recent years in indoor racing, so it's possible he could make a comeback here in the Paris Supercross 2022 event. And with the Paris Supercross basically being the last race of the 2022 season, this could be a precursor on what to expect for the 2023 season. Will the major guys rise up and win as we expect them to? Or could it be one of the lower level rising riders that makes a name for themselves here in 2022 and can continue that momentum in 2023? Well, there's only one way to find out. So let's wait until the event happens and find out. 